I think it really is going to set Bront Street apart and, and give it its own kind of little brand, so to speak. Melissa Yao Hillop is a business owner along Broughton Street. After operating through months of construction, she now sees the light with the completion of the first block. I love it. I think the lampposts are really cool and, and they look historic, although a bit modern in their how they're streamlined and the pavers look gorgeous, you know, and really anytime you can improve how the street looks and, and the parking and all that, I think it's a it's a win-win for everybody. Creating a sense of place for Broughton Street and communicating that to our visitors and businesses creates an opportunity where they're going to want to come down there. We have the Christmas tree lighting that we do on Broughton Street and a lot of other activities. We want to create a space to have a festival on Broughton Street. Because again, you have the pedestrian activity, you have a unified look, and then you have the opportunity to host small festivals there. We believe it can really liven up Broughton Street. On top of the beautification project, which is Broughton Streetscapes, we, this is also a really high level infrastructure project that had to be done. It's great to live in a historic city, but it comes with its own set of problems. Like aging infrastructure. In fact, water lines nearing 100 years old. And that underground infrastructure, although it's slow, although you don't see it, it is very much a part of the Broad Street Streetscape project. And so it's been very vital for us that, you know, we make that a focused effort to replace the existing infrastructure. And we're fortunate enough to be able to fix that while we're doing this beautification project. And it's going to um, avoid us going coming back later on and interrupting businesses again for, um, for issues we can easily take care of right now. We're going to be widening the sidewalks, making the cafe zones wider so a lot of the restaurants that want to put outside seating can can easily do that. We want more traffic from our pedestrians as opposed to uh, car traffic, new bike racks, benches, um, crosswalks. Take a look at what's going on when you unearth, you know, a historic street. What's happening there? See what's happening in terms of the first block where we finished. Come take a look and celebrate kind of our changes and our differences. But we are launching advertising programs, we're branding the street, we're sending an ambassador out there, and most importantly, we have daily communication with all of the businesses along there to make sure they know what's going on. Of course, the construction kind of makes you nervous as a business owner, but really with everything that's happening and all the plans, it just seemed like a really cool concept for Broughton Street and will be really good for the long run. It's a massive project, both above and below Broad Street. It's an $18 million two-phase project, which will help solidify and enhance our local economy for our locals and visitors alike. Phase one is expected to be complete by April 1st of 2022. For SGTV's CitySpan, I'm Ken Slats.